Nintendo Switch has built-in Wi-Fi, but no built-in Ethernet. The wireless internet is not so good. We're gonna go ahead and install this. Very easy to install device. So I decided to go with a brand called Cable Matters because this brand is good. Like I use their cables for a lot of things. I use their cables for display adapters, HDMI adapters, Ethernet adapters. Like they make cables for everything. So when I wanted an adapter, a USB to Ethernet adapter that works for the Nintendo Switch, I went and found this one. It was very affordable and it even says in the description that it's compatible with Nintendo Switch. And I read some of the reviews and people say, this thing is actually way faster than the actual official Nintendo Switch version of the Ethernet adapter. So let's go ahead and unbox this and find out what we get in this tiny little box. So cable matters, Ethernet adapter, boom, right there, open it up. And inside, what do we get? What do we get? Right there, we get a bunch of paperwork inside right here, right? Paperwork, we don't care about the paperwork, extended warranty, all the good stuff, but we'll put it aside. This is what we care about, this little adapter right here. So let's go ahead and open this adapter. We'll just rip it apart. There we go. So that's this is the adapter right here. Very simple, very compact, right? That's the cable matter adapter right there. So nothing fancy, nothing special, but remember, you want a USB-A, not a USB-C. The Nintendo Switch has a USB-C port, but it's used for the AC adapter. Now you can get a USB-C splitter, you can use a USB-C to Ethernet adapter, but don't, don't go that route. Just, just, it's more connections, more chances for things to not work right. So this is what we have right here, okay? So let me show you how this works right now. So here is our Nintendo Switch, right? So you open this up right here, you see how we have the AC power right here? So right here we have the cable matter USB-A to Ethernet. So all we're gonna do, literally all we're gonna do is just plug this cable in here and it goes in one way. So if it doesn't work one way, you're gonna flip around, plug the cable in and uh, voila, that's it. See, you see how the light turns on? I mean, that's it, it's ready to go. So let's go ahead and close this up right here. Get the cables all coming out right here. So here's our ethernet. So all we need to do is plug in the ethernet and let's see if it actually works. So we have our ethernet cable right here. Plug the ethernet connection here and look, there's even lights right here. So right here, plug this in and there you go. It's plugged in. The light should start flashing. You see the light started flashing right there. So that means it's working. We get the blue light down here as well. We have some lights here show activity. And let's see if our Nintendo Switch detects the new connection. So let's see, let's see. Let's see what it does for us. All right, so let's go ahead and go click back on the Nintendo Switch right now. Uh, let's go to internet settings. Or maybe if we just, let me see, test connection. So it still thinks that this is still Wi-Fi, you see? This is still Wi-Fi, it didn't switch over yet. It still says Wi-Fi. Let's just, just do the Wi-Fi test one more time, just for consistency sake. Let's see how consistent the Wi-Fi was. Yeah, about 45 and then 17, right? Okay, perfect. Now let's go back, let's go to our internet settings right here. Let's see if it detects a new ethernet adapter. So searching for a network, let's see. Uh, yeah, you see, now it has the option for wired Ethernet. It didn't have the wired Ethernet option again before, this wired Ethernet option. So we can just go ahead and select that. Connect to the internet via wired connection. Perfect. So let's go ahead and click OK. It's connecting to the internet right now. There we go. Now, right now, it's actually using the Ethernet adapter. Connection success. All right, so now we can test and see how it performs, all right? So you see how now it says wired connection right there, wired connection versus wireless. So let's go ahead and test the connection and let's see if it's any faster. So wired connection. Here we go guys, wired connection. Is it better or not? Is it better? Is it better? Is it better? Whoa! The downloads, it went from 65 to 84. Upload speed is about the same. But now here's the thing, the wired connection is always gonna be more solid, right? The wireless connection on some days is great, some days it's not so good, and I like the wired connection because it's more solid. But anyway guys, I feel like the download speed at least improved. Upload speed might not show an improvement right here with 16 megabits right here, but the upload speed is probably much more consistent. You know, this, this download speed doesn't say the full story because you guys forget about ping. Ping is latency, right? So you might have a good download or good upload speed, but don't forget ping, the latency, how fast it responds, right? The response rate matters when you're playing game. So ping is very important. And right here, it doesn't tell us like anything about the ping, the latency. So it's gonna be way better. Let's go ahead and try out uh, Super Smash Bros. Let's go ahead and go play Super Smash Bros. And let's see if it's any better, all right? So here we go. Let's go ahead and close out our Tetris. Let's go ahead and play Super Smash Bros. And let's see if it's any better. 
Okay guys, so we are online and we're playing Nintendo Switch with this Ethernet adapter, USB 3.1, it's a USB-A to Ethernet, Gigabit Ethernet. And we got the Cables Matter version because this version, the reviews say it's faster than even the Nintendo Switch authentic Ethernet adapter and it's so affordable. This is like one third the price of the actual Nintendo Switch. So we're gonna see if this cable right here, this little adapter right here, USB to Ethernet will help speed up our online gaming experience with the Nintendo Switch. But the wide Wi-Fi connection on Nintendo Switch is not that great when you're playing online. So we're checking. Oh yeah, so much fighting us. Look, 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 they're ready up. Let's go, let's fight. Yes, they're ready. Okay, here we go, we're ready for battle. Let's go, let's go, let's ready up. Yes, fight time, let's go. Yo, we're gonna play online now. Let's see how good it is to play online with the new Nintendo Switch with the Ethernet to USB adapter right here. Let's go, let's play. Yo, it's smooth, it's smooth, yes. Oh, good. Dude, this is so much better. This is so much better than when we're playing on Wi-Fi. This is smooth. Oh, but I'm getting my butt kicked. Oh, dude, this guy's good. Oh, what? This guy's destroyed me. He's destroyed me. Oh, dude, I, I'm terrible. Oh my god, no, 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 don't kick me off. Okay, my goal is to damage him so when I can knock him off, I can win. But he's just, <laughs> he is so good. He's so good. What? Yeah, plastic, plastic, no. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm so dead, I'm so dead. No, 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 don't fall off, don't fall off, don't fall off. Okay, there, no, punch, punch, punch. Yeah, fall off, fall off, fall off. Oh, no, he knocked me off. But you see how this is so much better now versus Wi-Fi? It's so much faster, it's so much smoother. I mean, the download speed and upload speed improved when we went to wire connection versus Wi-Fi, but that's not, the, that's not the whole story, guys. The ping is faster, the latency is better, the response is better, and for the price of this little adapter, this is totally worth it, even though I'm getting my butt kicked right now, but I don't care. This adapter makes online gameplay so much better. Hang on, let's go, let's fight this guy. What is he doing? Oh my god, ah, no! No, what, he's like juggling me. You can do that? I didn't even know you can juggle people in this game. But guys, this Nintendo Switch adapter is really good. Again, this is the Cable Matter Ethernet adapter. We're using USB 3.1. But remember, it's a USB-A port that connects back to the Nintendo Switch. And it, it's plug and play. Literally plug and play. What we did recommend is you, after you plug in the Ethernet connection, you want to just go ahead and turn off your Nintendo Switch like we did, like a hard shutdown, restart it, and boom, back online. And ready to go, guys. This is smooth. This is good. And this, yeah! Oh, shoot! I lost. That was game. That was game. That's game. Uh, I got run right now, but guys, that was fun. That was fun. Ness kicked my butt, but you know what? I'm actually happy to lose because it was a lag-free experience. Again, we play Nintendo Switch with this Cable Matter USB 3.1 to Gigabit Ethernet adapter. This is very affordable, like a third of the price versus the actual Nintendo official one. It's, this is really good. And guys, very easy to install on the back of the Nintendo Switch. You see right here, we have this adapter right here. You plug this adapter to your Ethernet and then you plug into this free USB A port, and that's it. So you have the normal HDMI out, your AC adapter, and then this port normally wasn't being wasn't used before. We just plug in our Ethernet adapter right there, plug in our Ethernet cable, and Wi-Fi, no need anymore. And with that connection plugged in, we have wired Ethernet. Yes, gigabit Ethernet on the Nintendo Switch. This is so easy. I mean, there's no reason why you don't want to add the small little device and just increase your awesome experience playing Nintendo Switch online. Highly, highly recommend this adapter right here. This is the Cable Matter USB 3.1 to Ethernet adapter and it works perfectly on the Nintendo Switch. Guy love it. Go wired connection guys. Play online, but play wired. Say no to Wi-Fi. Ethernet connection all the way guys. Yes, for the win. Cable Matter 3.1, two gigabit Ethernet adapter. There you have it guys, for the Nintendo Switch. Good stuff.